Do you sometimes feel like your business is running you? Would you like to manage your business, increase revenues, and have more time to do the things you love? Let me tell you about the entrepreneurial myth. The entrepreneurial myth is that you will be your own boss, not report to anybody. Have more time to do the things you love. Make more money than you were doing working for someone else. Or even know how to make a better product or have better customer service than the people you are currently working for. Some new business owners figure out the magic sauce but soon realize it's short-lived and they don't know how to get that magic back. 97% of entrepreneurs have found out that they are working more, making less, and trying to figure it all out as they go. Many business owners were unaware of all the regulatory and legal requirements to start a business, and they've never encountered these items in the past. The paperwork is draining them both, both mentally, emotionally, and taking way too much of their time. Some business owners have never had to hire staff properly. They just hired who they liked, and if it didn't work out, the HR department took care of letting them go. Every day, business owners go to work on their business only to realize they own a job. They work hard on all aspects of their business. Marketing, sales, operation, accounting, finance, and on and on. In Michael Gerber's book, The E-Myth, he states it's not easy going from the technician to the entrepreneur. You need help. Doing all this hard work does not mean that they don't know what they're doing. It just means that they're doing everything they know. They may have read a book on how to do accounting, but never really understood what it's all about. Or they may never have had to go out and sell their product or service before. Would it be nice if all business owners had a strategic alliance partner who owned and operated many businesses as well as worked with a variety of businesses and helping them to figure it all out? Put systems and controls in place to build a long-term sustainable business that is profitable? Hi, my name is Steve Feld and in a few minutes I'm going to share with you the systems that I have been using in my business and with my clients to get them to the point where they are leading their business and not being managed by their business. I'm also going to share with you the single biggest mistake that most business owners make when it comes to having a profitable business. The two critical systems most growing profitable businesses have present in their business that the unsuccessful ones do not. A simple proven method to get your business to achieve your goals and how you can get the system in your business today. These are the exact same strategies that I've used to help many other business owners from a variety of industries grow their business two, three, and even four times. These business owners went from grinding it out every day, working their butts off, barely making any money, to having fun, making money, and creating new products and services to grow their businesses. Let me tell you about Kelly. She was stuck in her business being managed by it because of some deals she made with another business. Every month, she'd work hard to bring in the clients, only to realize that the other business she was working for took all her profits and cost her all the clients she worked hard for. And after 60 days of working together, her business is growing. She is managing her business. She has defined goals with a plan to achieve them. She has a solid marketing plan, laser-like focus, and the system she follows daily. She doesn't work more than 40 hours a week now. She got out of that bad agreement with that facility. Now she works with multiple strategic partners. Now she is happy, book solid with clients, and achieving her business and personal goals. She's had to refocus her marketing efforts to maintain clients because she was booked all the time. Now we're working together on a strategic plan to bring on staff so she can increase her business revenue and give her more personal time. Another person I work for, Chris, he was stuck in his 12-year-old insurance business. He was thinking about selling it and getting out. His business was slowly declining, and he was grinding out 60 hours a week just to barely break even. He had no home life, one staff member that was ready to leave because the workload was not making any money for her. So we started working together when he had about 1,200 policies within his agency. Within the first six months, he had three staff members and 1,500 policies. He was in the position to acquire another agency and bring on their staff. After two years, he was at 3,800 policies with five staff members, making more money than he has ever made, and he and his staff are one happy unit. He's currently grown about 5% a month, and that's around 80% a year. Now he's managing his business, not being managed by it. Now that's a bit of a jump in some of my clients and myself have been able to see inside of our businesses. So how exactly did we do it? It's simple. None of this would have happened if I didn't sit down and focus the majority of my time and attention on mastering a few simple things. The ability to input structured, proven systems into the business and stick to a structured time management system. And because of these two simple shifts, the result 
that my clients and myself have been able to achieve has been nothing short of amazing. Many business owners have a plan, but they might not have a strategic or tactical system to achieve those goals. By working with someone who has owned and operated businesses before, along with a structured program to bring in all the elements of the business together, enhanced with a solid business coach, has been nothing short of amazing. So what this means is that if you're a business owner that is looking for a structured way to grow your business and ready to take your business to the next level, then rest assured that you will love what I'll be sharing with you for the remainder of this video. Now, some of the best things about working with a certified business coach is you have someone that's looking out for your best interest. It works for any size of business in any industry. This is because we focus on the foundation of business, which every business in the world has. The program is based on proven results, and this all leads us up to the single biggest mistake that most business owners make when it comes to their business. I'm going to call category one the scrappers. Now, these business owners work a lot harder than everyone else. However, despite their show up and grind attitude, they produce mediocre, if any, results inside their business. They make money sometimes, but the majority of the time, they make no money. They are the ones who are desperate for customers. And because of this, they resort to work with anyone, maybe giving them discounts or special offers just to make a sale. Now, the second category, I'm going to call them the kick butt and take name people. These are the business owners that seem to be firing on all cylinders. They seem to have customers actively seeking them out and purchasing their product no matter how much it costs. And ultimately, they are able to earn 50, 100, and even 1,000 times more inside their business and do it with a lot less stress. So right now, you might be wondering, so what is the difference between the two? What allows one business to be firing on all cylinders, spending more time with their families, and ultimately enjoying smooth success? Those are the kick butt take name people. While on the other hand, you have to, the others have to scrap, make ends meet, make less than they could in a full-time J-O-B, and struggle to make the rent at the end of the month. Well, in my experience working with hundreds of business owners and having owned and operated a variety of businesses, here's what I found. I found the businesses who have what can be viewed as the kick-butt-and-take-name attitude, they all had the right focus inside their business, while the scrappers did not. And because of this focus, each month, those businesses with the kick-butt-and-take-names touch they were able to consistently grow their business with consistency and predictability. Let me share a quick story with you to help you get a clearer picture of what I mean when I say the right focus. This is a story about a guy named Henry Ford. You may have heard of him. And the process he used to build the first reliable car and dominate the automotive industry. It was in the early 1900s and Henry Ford's company's first car was going on sale. When it was revealed, a lot of people said it looked like a horse-drawn delivery wagon without a horse. The car also had some engine problems, which kept it from running smoothly, and the car would have frequent breakdowns. So, Henry Ford's investors got together and suggested he should go to work on designing a better-looking car. They wanted him to put the focus on a luxury car, a car that would look good to buyers. However, Henry Ford understood the concept of focus. So here's what I mean. Henry Ford knew that before he could ever consider designing a better looking car, he first needs to direct his focus on the issues that were a lot more significant than what the car looked like on the outside. And those issues had to do with perfecting the engine, which in turn kept the car running smoothly for a longer period of time. You see, Henry Ford knew that with all these things considered, the engine was the most important piece of the puzzle, and that no amount of how the car looked on the outside would make up for an unreliable engine. So what you're looking at here is a race car driver who is in one of the most important races of his career. However, something unexpectedly happened a few feet from the finish line. His car's engine failed right before he was able to cross the finish line. And because of that, he had to jump out of the car and try to push it over the finish line, which ultimately caused him to lose the race. So again, no amount of good looks can make up for an unreliable engine. And because Henry Ford understood this concept, he stalled in producing the new luxury model his investors wanted him to do and took his team and they went to work on perfecting the engine. So while his investors had the focus on what the car looked like on the outside, Henry Ford kept his focus on perfecting the engine that would keep the car running smooth for a long period of time. And then when he cracked the code on the perfect engine, 
Then and only then did he go back to work on the car's looks. The result? The world's first reliable car, which Henry Ford duplicated over and over again, which allowed his company to dominate the automotive industry. So right now, if you're serious about growing your business and taking it to the next level, then it's in your best interest to pay attention to what I'll be sharing with you next. Why? Well, because it's the opposite of what you've been doing. So today, many business owners are trying to grow their business using the same flawed focus as Henry Ford's investors. Here's what I mean by this. Most business owners and leaders are focused on doing individual tasks such as networking, menial tasks such as filing, emptying trash cans, calling on to check the status of a delivery, ordering office supplies, etc. You get my meaning? Doing tasks someone else should be doing, not you. Accounting, payroll, the books, maybe accounts receivable and payable. Reactive marketing. What I mean by this is just creating a marketing program for activity, no plan involved. They completely lose focus on what's truly important in their business. This is why you need to have a structured system within your business that aligns you with your business goals. When in reality, all you're doing is attaching a beautiful outer body to a car which has a fundamentally flawed engine. And as we've already learned, it doesn't matter how good a car looks on the outside. If the engine doesn't work, then the car doesn't work. Remember earlier I said that businesses that are perceived as kicking butt and taking names all have the right focus inside their businesses while the scrappers do not. Well, the right focus is on having a structured plan to follow inside your business with support. Following the plan and be willing to adjust if needed to achieve the goals, take the business to the next level. You see, the fact of the matter is this. If you can't pay money to take your business to the next level, and are not willing to receive assistance, then it'll be extremely difficult and time-consuming for you to achieve your goals. You'll be stuck in the rat race. You'll have to work a lot harder than everyone else and never really seem to get ahead of being inside your business. You'll have to deal with living in a constant state of fear, uncertainty, and insecurity of where your business is going. And ultimately, you won't be able to scale your business in the matter you like. Albert Einstein defined insanity as doing the same activity over and over and expecting a different result. I see this time and time again in businesses. They keep doing the same activities over and over, expecting different results. The moment you stop doing manual labor activities to find clients, the moment your business stops working. So now, let me share with you the formula for stop being a technician and become the entrepreneur you envision to be, starting right now. And for me to do that, let me share with you only two things that matter inside any business. First one, generating sales. Now this step is a no-brainer. In order to generate sales, you need to attract qualified customers. So what is a qualified customer? Well, a qualified customer is an individual who has expressed interest in working with you and or purchasing your product. Let me say that again. A qualified customer is an individual who's expressed interest in working with you and or purchasing your product. After you have a system in place that allows you to attract your target customers, the next step is to have a system in place to satisfy the customer's needs, either through product, service, or both, and have them purchase your goods or services. One of the main reasons why business owners actively seek me out for help is because they are either declining or stagnant in their business and not able to take their business to the next level. And because of that, let me ask you this. Are you generating the type of income that you would like? If your answer is no to this question, how would you answer these next questions? How many marketing programs are you currently running right now? Are you measuring those marketing programs? Do you feel like you're doing everything in your business? Do you have a solid system installed in your business so you can take a peaceful vacation and your business will be fine and running smoothly while you're away? Something one of my mentors who helped me install solid systems inside my business taught me is that as a business owner, there are hundreds of different activities that you could spend your time doing. However, the reality is there are only three activities that really matter when it comes to growing your business. You have to generate sales. You have to have systems in your business. And you have to have a formal plan to grow in order to scale your business. You must be able to attract customers to your product or service. Then be able to satisfy them with what you promised with a plan for long-term sustainable growth. The most successful business owners today are the ones with increasing sales and a proven system to handle those sales 
also with a plan for long-term sales success. But not only that, they have two numbers that they refer to as the pulse and heartbeat of their business. As it turns out, they know these two numbers down to the dollar. The first one is cash flow is the life of all businesses. If no money is coming into the business, then the business is dying. It's plain and simple as that. Next, internal systems and controls to increase cash flow and profits. This includes staff. And because of this, here's an overview of how would they spend their time inside their businesses. You see, the kick button take name businesses are looking at their marketing plans, seeing the activities, measuring these activities in dollars and units. They analyze the data making adjustments and making sure that these marketing activities are in line with the long-term strategic plan of their business. They're reading and utilizing their accounting and financial data. They're leading their teams towards a common goal and having the time to think about long-term strategic planning. They're in control so they can make adjustments on the fly because they're in tune with their numbers. On the other hand, the scrapper is out there doing it all. They're blogging, writing up social media posts, attending networking events, podcasting, emptying the trash, micromanaging, not leading their team, not keeping an eye on their financial numbers, in some cases desperately contacting, messaging random individuals in the hopes that they're going to be able to be their client, not realizing that it's only a matter of time until they burn themselves out, which might lead to their business going under. It might feel like a dog chasing their own tail. And all of this leads us to the simple, proven, five-step system that will elevate your business to start achieving your goals. So what does this system look like? Well, it starts with having clarity. Many business owners really believe they are targeting one type of customer only to find out their customers are in a different segment. Bringing clarity in the business as a whole will provide focus and start planning on where you really want your business to be down the road. This provides the roadmap for your success instead of driving around, wasting time, trying to figure out really where you want the business to be. After we have clarity, our next step is effectiveness. Now, you have the clarity in your business, but do you? Your team must be effective in achieving your goals in order to get you to the next level. Many businesses have clarity within their business, then fail to measure how effective their systems are within their business. This is where an accountability partner really comes into play. This is the process to measure everything. Start looking at the future towards your business goals and making sure your business has the right people in place, the right systems in place, marketing and sales are measured properly with everything aligned towards your success. Now you have a structured systematic plan for growth in order to earn these types of profits and income that you want. And I refer to this process as finding your way around the maze. Now in order for you to grow, you need to have some staff in place, systems, so you can find your way through the maze. Because the next focus is sales. Now, there's many ways we can do this. The biggest way is that you must have a solid marketing plan that targets your customer. The marketing plan must be measured in order not to waste any money or time. There must be specific activities within the marketing plan in order for it to be successful. And the exciting part is you'll know down to the dollar and day to day on how your business is performing. The last step is leadership. Is the team you have the right team? What are you doing to develop them into being champions for your business? Many business owners and leaders neglect this important step. You must be always developing great talent in your business, which affects everything else in your business. Without a great team on board, you probably will never, ever be able to reach the next level of your business. Since I use a proven system to help business owners grow, we call this the stacking method on growth. Let me tell you about one of my other clients, Susan. She found herself putting long hours into her business. She was putting in about 15 to 16 hours a day, seven days a week, to the point where she found herself feeling burnt out with no consistent results to show for it. Her daily to-do list was constantly overflowing. She was doing everything in her business. Didn't have any luck finding good staff or retaining them. She had no systems in place, no personal time with her family, no time to network, socialize, write a book, volunteer, and all the other things she really, really wanted to do. But despite all her efforts that she was putting in, the money didn't seem to come in, and it certainly didn't match the amount of time she was putting in her business. So ultimately, before we started working together, Susan was just barely breaking even every month and not taking a penny home. After we began working together, she now works no more than eight days a week for five days. She has a very small daily to-do list, and it's in, that to-do list is in alignment with her long-term strategic plans. 
She spends her time focusing on bigger pictures of her business and not doing everything. We put in systems and controls to source, onboard, train, and develop staff. She now has the time to spend with her family and is writing that book she wanted to. She now also volunteers as well as participating in all her other personal projects. Her business is now growing and she knows her numbers. So here's the true difference of how coaching has changed clients' lives. The majority of my clients felt like they were very successful, and they are. But they couldn't get their business to the next level. And they have tried many things that got them to this point within their business, but it wasn't working to take their business to the next point. It seemed like they couldn't get their business moving towards their goal as fast as they wanted to. And after I helped them install this proven system, they exploded their business growth much faster than they could have on their own. How would you like to have your business running like a machine with all the parts working together and the outputs keep increasing? Those businesses have the right proven system installed with them and they are purring like well-oiled machines. The best way I could describe the feeling of working with a business coach is having a proven system installed inside your business is by sharing with you the story of Roger Bannister's. The story of him breaking the four minute mile. You may have heard this, right? That for years, everyone thought it was impossible for a person to run a mile in under four minutes. However, with adopting a new way of doing things, Roger Bannister became the first man in history to do this. As for my clients, being able to achieve the results that they have achieved inside their business has really stretched their reality as to how easy and effortless it is to grow their business. You see, many business owners view business as traveling through a maze. Remember those scrappers? They approach the maze by jumping into the maze and just start walking around and hoping that they'll eventually find their way out and achieve the results they want. Well, here's the problem with that approach. When it comes to trying to find out the ways out of the maze, there's so many different variations, and all those variations lead to dead ends except for one. So a scrapper business will see this maze and say to themselves, I can do this. And they just jump right in and start walking around and trying to find the exit. And after several months of walking around and feeling like they're making progress, they come to the realization that all that action that they've been taking led them to nothing but dead ends. So they pick themselves up, brush their shoulders off, and they try a few new routes. And again, everything seems to be going smooth, but after a few months, more dead ends. This is when they start thinking to themselves, how can something be so simple take me this long to figure out? They also say to themselves, maybe I'm not trying hard enough. So they pick themselves back up again, focus on finding a solution out of that maze. And after several more months of walking with the illusion of making progress, they wake up to the realization that they have damn near went to all the corners of the maze and still haven't found their way out. They spent several months working around the clock to figure this out. And in the end, they end up not having any results to show for it. But this time, it's too late and their dreams of creating success for themselves fades away for the same reason it does for everyone else who decides to take this approach. They run out of time, or they run out of money. Then there's the smart way of approaching this maze. And this approach is that kicking butt and taking names businesses, as it turns out, is the easy way. And this is to find someone who has spent years making mistakes, learning directly from those mistakes so they can find the way out, and get the results you want inside your business immediately. And as you're aware, that's what I do all day, in my own business and for my clients and their businesses. This is why I utilize a proven system that works for businesses in all industries at any level. Now, sooner or later, you'll find yourself asking a question. How can I be one of those businesses that make it look so easy to grow and the owner leader seems to be having lots of fun growing their business? Well, first, I have to warn you. Business coaching is not for everybody. Here's who it is for. Business coaching only works for business owners and leaders who want to seriously grow their business. They are engaged with their business. I hear it from scrapper businesses all the time. They say they're engaged, but in reality, they're not. Ever see Bar Rescue? They're willing to put in the time and the effort to achieve those goals. They want to reduce their workload, and they're willing to invest in their businesses. So right now, you're probably wondering, what is my intent for putting together this video for you? And it's good to wonder. You see, right now I'm looking for a few more of my dream clients who are interested in growing their businesses, taking their business to the next level using a proven system. And because of this, for a limited time, I'd like to speak with you, and only if you fit the following description. One, you're someone that would like to take their business to the next level and beyond through growth. Two, you want to lead your business and not be managed by your business. So here's how it works. We have a strategic performance review 
and we'll focus on you and your business. Now, in case you're wondering, the strategic performance review usually takes around 30 minutes, but I like to book an hour just to make sure that everything is covered. You're going to be speaking to me personally, and I'm going to ask you four main questions to help determine if I should work with you, but more importantly, if you should be working with me. So, as you might have realized by now, I am very picky about who I speak with. And I have a strict but very reasonable set of criteria that needs to be met in order for us to proceed. So this strategy review is for you if you own and operate your business that is generating sales. People that are willing to be fully engaged within their business. If your business is not growing or operating at the level you like, your business is running you and not the other way around. Owners and leaders who understand that they need to invest some money to grow their business for it to go to the next level. You have staff that can help you assist you to get to the next level. And ultimately, you must be willing to be coached. After all, if you don't actually implement the stuff I give you, then neither of us will make any money. Now that I've clarified who the strategy review session is for, let's talk about who it's not for. This strategy session is not for people who want to be a business owner, but don't want to put any effort into their business or take it to the next level. They want someone else to run their business. People who like to complain, make excuses, blame others for their poor results. People who are not prepared to take action and get results. People who are not ready for help and put what we discussed in their business. And people looking for some short-term, quick-fix solution in their business. The work we do during our weekly sessions will get your business to where you want it to be. That won't work unless you're ready to grow and expand your business. What most people find is that working with me is not cheap. And if cheap is what you're looking for, then I'm probably not the right person for you. And the main reason why working with me is not cheap is because most of the clients who work with me find out that they're able to make back their investment many times over. Now here's where you need to pay close attention. Knowing that we're a good fit is crucial. I like to get all my clients results and work with them for the long term. And to do that, I need to get them results quickly. And the truth is, there's some people I just can't help. And if that's the case, I'll be 100% upfront with you and possibly recommend you to someone else. Because I'm only looking for people who are a good fit, and I'm certain I can really help. So how would you go about scheduling one of these complimentary strategic business review sessions with me? Well, the first step, click on the button that's below this video and fill out an application form. And this application form is necessary in order to determine two things. First, that I can help you, and that I am the best person to help you achieve those results. And two, that you're ready to play big and take action required to get your business to the next level. And after I've reviewed your application, you'll be able to schedule a time with me to conduct your strategy session. And this is when we really start working together to figure out what you want and how to make it happen in the fastest possible time with the longest term success. At the end of the call, one of two things will happen. You'll either be a good fit and I'll offer you an invitation to work with me as one of my clients. If you're not a good fit, that's totally okay and there will be no hard feelings or obligations or anything like that. Either way, you'll receive one of the most valuable strategy sessions and will walk away with brand new insights as to where you are right now and what's holding you back from achieving the results you want. That together with the exact next step necessary to take action so we can start taking your business to the next level. This will likely be the most valuable 30 to 60 minutes that you'll invest in your business all year. So go ahead, click on the link to request your application. Warning, time is of a factor. This opportunity is extremely limited because of the intense one-on-one -on -one time needed in order to provide you with results. So right now, if you feel like this is right for you, click on the button below and let's talk. Now sooner or later, you're gonna realize that I've had over 85 business owners apply for one of these strategy sessions with me in the last 30 days alone. What this means is that this opportunity is extremely limited because of this intense one-on-one -on -one time needed in order to provide you with the results, as I've said before. I can only work with clients who I know that without a shadow of a doubt, they are committed in achieving the success they desire within their businesses. As you probably realize by now, there's a very large demand for personal one-on-one -on -one help from my team and I. What I'm offering you is unprecedented. Now, something to note is that out of every 100 people that apply, I can generally only work with 12 clients at a time, and right now, Eight of those 12 spots are currently spoken for and filled up, and I'm looking to fill up the next four as quickly as possible. So please understand that this window of opportunity won't be available for long. And what I've found is that those who have had the ability to make decisions and act quickly 
are the most likely to get results and the most likely to outperform everyone else. Right now, if you're still watching this video and you feel this is the right thing for you, then go ahead and click on the button below to see if you qualify and then follow the instructions on the next page. So thanks for watching and I'm looking forward to connecting with you on the strategy session.